Welcome back to my channel everyone. This is Donnie and you're watching Diamond Painting by Donnie. I do not have a Diamond Art Club unboxing today because I will be doing a live and I'm not sure if this video is going to go up before or after that but anyway I wanted to make sure I had a video for you guys to see an unboxing and also so I can keep on track with getting my stuff opened and shown to you. Okay, so this came from AliExpress. I ordered some other things with it, but this is the only diamond painting item. So I wanted to open it and show it to you guys because it is different than a normal diamond painting. It's pretty small, as you can see here. Um, I got it from a store called Shiny Home Store on AliExpress. I ordered it October 13th. They shipped it October 15th, and I received it October 30th and they have several different styles and as you can see here it's a bookmark it kind of got bent up a little bit but that's okay because it's a bookmark it is made out of the same foamy material that the journals are made out of and you know I picked this one there were several that I liked but I picked this one because I liked the eyes as you can see look at that and it's got a lot of different special shapes. So I'm sure this won't take too long. I've been trying to do these kinds of things while I'm doing my editing. If I'm not getting ready for a video and doing that while I'm editing. Let's see. I haven't, I just peeked and saw that it was the bookmark and then I closed it back up. So I haven't actually looked inside. This is the toolkit it comes with. Green boat, small wax, basic pen and a pair of plastic tweezers which I'm going to remove so that I can give them away with a purchase of a tray in my shop okay so there's that and then it has a tassel a beautiful tassel that you can hang on it after it's done it has a little hole here at the top for that but look at that it's got this beautiful flower it looks like a lotus and then a nice long black tassel and the gems this is really cool I've never received a special shaped anything with them the drills coming in baggies like this uh, once in a while you'll get most of the time you'll get them in the bags that are chained together you need to cut them open and put them into their own container and then if you get like one special shape or something it'll come in a ba extra baggie but these are all in their own baggies so this is really neat I paid two dollars and 88 cents for this so I think that's pretty good it's got a beautiful red and a gold and they do have them marked nicely on the bags which one they go to so I can see the ones and the twos see the ones right in here I see twos where did I see the twos these are really small so okay now this is the one thing I'm gonna have an issue with though the twos you can barely see them in fact you can't really see them the twos are the ones that are above the eyes and I only know that because I can barely see a two on one of them so that's a little difficult so as long as that's the only one that is hard to read I should be able to figure it out and then here's number 12 which is a larger red gem you can see some trash in there just a little bit and here's number eight okay I do not like working with these slivers that are this tiny they're pretty but they're very hard to work with and yes I've you I use the a three placer to place them but they're still the three placer is still pretty big and it's hard to see where you're placing it with the tip of that and I and even using tweezers it's still kind of hard to pick them up um, I use the flat ones the flat edge tweezers like these but you know 
there's not that many. The one I'm working on in my living room has a lot, so it's a lot harder. I've got a sneaky Teslin behind me crawling around trying not to be heard or seen. I'm a ninja. You're a ninja. She's a ninja. Okay, and then there's number six. Beautiful. As you can see, they go here in these spots, lots of them. Teslin, you're making a lot of noise back there. <laughs> You're going to hit your head on that drawer. Here's number four. It's a bigger gem. It's gold. And then we have this large number five. Oh, that is pretty. There are, it only requires two of them. So I've got extras. See one here and one there. And number nine. Oh, these are pretty. Those slivers. I love that color. love the iridescence of them and this is number three it just looks like actually 310 it doesn't look special oh, but yeah. it's okay ninja you need to go <laughs> but that's just black that's number three so that is there's not a lot of three um i saw it it goes right in here on the insides of the nose it looks like it goes up in here so actually there quite, is quite a bit of black that goes okay that's about it nope it does it is around in here too yeah there's actually quite a bit of black all right and then we've got a silver sliver these are a little bigger than those purples and that's number seven so it's somewhere on here yeah, up in here. And then we have this number S, which is really pretty. It looks like a gold chain, but they're like half opals in pure gold. And that goes around the border. So as you can see, it goes all the way around. So I'll definitely be working um, with trying to find something different to use as something to seal it with because I don't want to use the aqua glue on this because I know bookmarks are generally supposed to stay flat but you know they can get bent because they are made out of material that are pretty flexible so I'm going to actually be trying something different when it comes to this um, I'll probably be working on this in the next couple of days and then I will show you when it's done in a different video but for now that's it for this one. I think this is totally worth $2.88. The gems alone are worth that much. So I think this was a good purchase. I have it linked down below. Um, like I said, they have several different choices on different bookmarks. So I would check them out if you wanted to try something small in between your big projects or if you really want to give a special gift to somebody. These would be great for gifts. And they're really cheap. So... And they would be quick to do, to work them, you know, get them worked out really quick to send out to people for a last minute gift or something. But I hope you enjoyed this. Um, let me know what you think of the bookmarks and what you have used. If you've done these before, let me know what you've used to seal them and if they have had any issues with cracking like this does when things are bent. This does crack. Um, it, I showed it on my journal here how it starts to crack when it's bent they're, they're great if they don't have if they're not going to be moving and they're just going to be flat this um, glue is great for that but it is not good when something is bent because it starts cracking the glue and we really don't want that especially if you're going to be giving it as a gift so yeah leave your comment down below let me know what you think and let me know what you have used on these if you've done them before to keep the cracking from showing up and on your way down, don't forget to hit that like button. I really like getting those thumbs ups. So I will see you in my next video. Have fun diamond painting and don't forget to always sparkle wherever you go and whatever you do. Take care, everyone. Bye.